What's up guys, it's Just Jake here and with the fifth episode of Unique Squad Builder. Um this will probably probably be one of the last ones I'm going to make. Uh simply because I've kind of run out of ideas and um most of the squads that I've been thinking of I've been looking through on YouTube and they've already been done and uh I really don't think I can compete with some of the big names I've done like Anthony Hollins on A League um and so on. Uh, I just don't think I can compete because I haven't got the money um to make the uh best squads. Um so this will probably be one of the last and um hopefully uh you've been enjoying the videos. Um but anyway, we're gonna get on with the team now, uh because we're getting bored. <laughs> um so in goal we have a Aute. Um I I, I don't know how to pronounce that but He's a decent keeper, good reflex in diving, but his other pat, uh, stats aren't great. Um, I've got 400 coins, you really can't go wrong, to be honest, he's a decent keeper, keeps a lot of shots out, um, especially when you're playing three at the back, which you have to with this team, considering there's only actually two defenders, um, who are Kynan, both for Cardiff, he's very slow, and uh, quite bulky, he's not the best defender in the world, but he does the job, and um, sticks in a few tackles and headers, and... Uh, uh, he's a decent player. Um, and the centre defensive mid is Cohen. Uh, he's quite fast and he's got good defending and heading stats. For a small lad at five foot seven, he's so strong. He shrugs off anybody who comes near him, and um, he really is a beastly centre defensive mid. If you're making a German silvers and you're not fussed about whether they're uh, rare, shiny or not, then uh, get this guy. He's an absolute monster in the middle. Um, I do think he'd probably be better as a centre mid, but centre defensive mid I got him as, and he plays it uh, quite well at centre back as well. And then we have Tal Ben Hayim from Portsmouth. Um, most people will know him. He's got a uh, very, very good strength, heading, and defending stats. Um, his pace doesn't let him down a lot, um, but hey, hey, that, it's not you can't ask for everything for a silver player. Um, but he's very, very strong. He's amazing at tackling as well. Um, beast of a defender. And in centre midfield, we have uh, Beram Kyle from Celtic. Um, not much to say about him. He's just an all-round be decent midfielder, good playmaker. Um, his shots aren't amazing. If they were improved, he'd be pretty decent, to be honest. Like the mid 80s uh, with those stats. And um, his defending is brilliant as well. He's got, he's can pick up a lot of tackles in the middle and uh, help out the uh, three at the back. Yossi Benayoun, most people would know him. He's a monster. Um, on this game, he's so strong and amazing at dribbling. It's unbelievable. He's so overrated. Um, I can't believe like some of the stuff he's done. Unfortunately, none of them result in goals, but he's run the pitch about 20 times to me. Just shrugging off players and uh, skipping past everyone with that dribbling. He is uh, so overrated with his dribbling. So if you're making a cheap Premier League team and you're not worried about the shiny or not, once again, pick him up. He's a beast. Um, left wing, we have Rafailov. Uh, He's the only player, I don't think Benayun has, he's the only player with four star skills, um, I think, and uh, he's decent, um, he's quite slow, he's got good shot, uh, shots, shooting, and uh, dribbling, but that's all about him really. Um, he's a decent player, but really wouldn't recommend him um, for any other team than the Israel team. Um, then we go into the right wing, where we have Buzaglo um, from Standard Liège. He's an uh, average right wing silver. Nothing special about him. His shots even aren't, aren't even that good. Poor dribbling, and he's not even that fast. He's just a <laughs> decent right wing. Um, doesn't do much. Uh, but he's cheap, so um, uh, 500 coins doesn't really matter. And beast the front three of Schechter, Bada, and Ben Saha. Um, these guys are the best. By far the best attributes assets of the team. Um, they're amazing at finishing, really strong, quite fast, and um, just beastly uh, all around a front three. Uh, I play Schechter at centre forward because he's a brilliant ball holder. Um, you beat the ball up to him, he'll control it, he struggles off um, defenders with his brilliant strength, and um, he's got very good, very good um, heading as well, despite the stats. He can uh, jump up and nod him onto. Barda, um, especially Barda, because Barda's always just sat in behind Ben Zaha and between the uh, two. Um, he's quite fast, good dribbling, actually quite good at heading, and he's uh, got a nice powerful shot on him. Not amazing, to be honest, but 
he's, he's only silver, so you can't expect much. Uh, and he's quite cheap as well. And then the best player of the team, by far for me, is Ben Saha. He's a brilliant finisher. Um, he's got very good dribbling. Um, in, in game, it's much better. And his finishing is insane. He's got like 80 finishing, I think, but his, his, his shot power is poor, appalling. He hardly gets any shot power into him. Uh, for me, anyway, he might do if you get this team. Um, but yeah, he's a decent player. Overall, I wouldn't really recommend getting this team unless you're run out, you've run out of ideas and you've got spare coins. It's not something to use as the first team, definitely, definitely not. Um, and I've also only picked up 93 chemistry, even with the manager, and most of them in the right formation, simply because uh, non um, main nationalities uh, don't really have any players playing in the same league, so no shiny green. Um, connecting bars, so that's why probably why they're so low uh, in chemistry. Um, but anyway, it's a decent team. If you want to check out check out some more stats about it and what I think, uh, especially go down to the information bar or the description below. Um, I don't want to call it that. But anyway, uh, this has been Just Jake. Hope you enjoyed. Um, remember to give it a like if you did. Um, and if you want to check out some more of my videos, especially the first four episodes of this, uh, go to my channel, um, and then if you like my stuff, give me a subscribe if you're feeling like a lad. And if you're not, then uh, no worries. Hopefully this uh, this little uh, montage at the end of about 10 second clip <laughs> can cheer you up. Uh, but well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time.